And the man accused of shooting his stepmother at a graduation ceremony won't be held behind bars while awaiting trial. News 13's Madison Connor is live outside district court with the latest. The judge made that decision today as prosecutors argued that the victim is still in the hospital and says she is afraid of what could happen if her stepson, Christian Bencomo, is released. According to the victim, this was unprovoked. Um, she has no idea why this happened. Uh, they haven't fought. He didn't say anything to her ahead of time. The shooting happened at the Albuquerque Convention Center during a charter school graduation ceremony last week. Police say 21-year-old Christian Bencomo shot his stepmother in the neck. Today, the state emphasized the violent nature of the shooting, saying there's no way to know that Bencomo won't do something like this again. Prosecutors also argued that Bencomo put dozens of people in danger at the convention center when he's accused of shooting his stepmom. But the defense argued that Ben Como has no prior arrests and could go live with his grandmother. The state is, is asking the court to hold Mr. Ben Como based solely on the nature of the allegations. As the state has acknowledged in the court can see in Exhibit 1 and Exhibit 2, um, Mr. Ben Como has absolutely no criminal history. Now, the judge ultimately sided with the defense, saying that while he believes Ben Como is a threat, prosecutors did not prove that jail is the only place that could keep Ben Como away from harming others. Instead, the judge opted to place Ben Como on a GPS monitor and house arrest where he'll live with his grandmother. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Madison. The judge also ordered Ben Como only be allowed to leave his home for medical and mental health treatment. He's facing aggravated battery and several weapons charges.